Good evening and welcome to Robbie's Fanatics TV with me AJ and uh, I'm doing a match report on today's pitching in Isthmian League Premier Division fixture between Cushaw and Athletic and Hashtag United. Um, it is the first time the, the two teams have met after Hashtag uh, won promotion from the Isthmian North last season. Uh, as far as the league table stands, uh, Carl Short and Athletic uh, currently sitting in second place, and uh, Hashtag were, sitting, were down in 11th after having a mixed start to the season. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, we made two changes from the team that beat Enfield on Saturday. Aaron Lamont uh, came in for Mark Marshall, and uh, Ola Wambanmi Babajidi came in for Luke Reed, who had picked up a knock in the infield game but was on the bench. Uh, as for the game itself, well it was a it was a good strong start from hashtag. They come out with all guns all guns blazing and uh, took the lead on just as early as eighth as the eighth minute. Uh, Pedro Carvalho uh, made a good run for, uh, on the on the left hand side, put in a lovely cross to the far post and where Alfie Q uh, fired home to give them the the lead. Uh, as for that, I mean, Carl Shorten had a couple of chances from um, Danny Bassett. First of all, he had a shot uh, blocked by the keeper. He came out and made a block. And then uh, he, same player, also hit the post later on in the game. Uh, um, Possession-wise, I think uh, Hashtag probably had the better of it. And although, although either team didn't really create that many chances, um, you know, it was a, uh, you know, it was a, uh, it was a, it was a good game for a neutral would have enjoyed that uh Kashorn had to make an early change after um abdul sanko uh picked up a knock he went in for a 50 50 challenge with a hashtag player uh come off come out the worst of it he did try to carry on uh but he went down a couple of minutes later so it had to be substituted so uh luke reed came on in his place and just on that challenge it was a 50 50 challenge for the ball and uh they both clashed shin pads and um Sanko got books and the other player didn't. I don't know what that was about, but he got books for it, which was I thought was a bit harsh. But uh, yeah, Luke Reed came on and Paris Hamilton down, went to left back and then played for at the back, slotted straight into the centre, uh, even though he's not 100% fit. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was it. Uh, half time, it was 1 0 to the visitors. So uh, hope, we were hoping for a better second half like we did on Saturday, and we had a really good second half on Saturday, but uh, it wasn't to be, and we had to make a change at half time in, in uh, between the sticks. Uh, uh, Will Haffer has picked up a groin injury, so um, he had to be substituted, and uh, Fabian Witter uh, came on in his place. Although you know, not bad goalkeeper. He came on against. He played against Hornchurch. Didn't come on. He played against Hornchurch and had a good game. But uh, yeah, this was a proper test for him, his home debut. But, um, as for the second half, well, it wasn't really much in a goal mouth action, to be fair. It was quite a, you know, tentative game. But uh, to worth give give credit to a hashtag. I mean, they defended very stoutly. I mean, uh, Carl Short, the thing, problem with Carl Short, we were a little bit slow in the build up, and uh, we weren't sort of take, weren't stretching them wide enough. Uh, we should have been sort of pulling them left and right. But uh, every time. We, had, we got the ball. I mean, they had two defenders uh, closing in. So, you know, they hurried us off the ball and they didn't give us any any chances or any space to uh, play our game. You know, and uh, the time we went on the attack, they had like a bank of seven, you know, to, um, you know, keep keep the one nil leads. You know, they defended stoutly. I mean, it was a very good defensive performance for them. I mean, we just weren't good enough or quick enough to sort of break them down. Um um, yeah, well, I don't think either keeper had a many saves to make. I think Fabian Witt had a couple of good saves to make, um, but his handling sort of was really good. And uh, yeah, but it wasn't to be. Carl Short was sort of huffed and puffed, but never really got that forward. Uh, we had a one shot flush across the uh, box, but uh, unfortunately, no one from midfield at the far post, except I think it was Bassett, fired in a low shot, which was just went across the six yard box but we had no no one running in to tap it in at the far post and would have given us a point then but it was but it wasn't to be but it was yeah it was a tough it was a tough game and um yeah and hashtag um saw the game out and um yeah went back to Essex with a one nil victory so that brought an end to Carl Shorten's unbeaten run which is a real shame really sort of went 
on a bit of a whimper really we didn't really get out of the box today and um and when we did hashtag was there to sort of mop anything up that we could do we just weren't quick enough it was slow it was pay it was you know pacey it wasn't pacey it was just like build up was just, just uh was so poor so slow we just didn't take advantage of doing sort of that a couple of times we did sort of play fast we did actually get behind the defense but we didn't you know couldn't have to finish and touch to, to get the goal but um yeah disappointing way to end the bell and beat and run really and we could have gone top tonight as well which is me even more sort of annoying about it and we probably would have been top for a little while but we, we would have been there we just thought that would have given them the impetus to go and try and get something out of the game but we just didn't get going today we just you know it was, i don't know it was just a you know a bit you know bit sort of cotton candy really didn't really play very well at all so massively disappointing but uh, that's the way it goes i mean all, all good things come to an end and uh, our unbeaten coming then at the end of a bit of a whimper so but it is what it is we sort of you know we, we got brush ourselves off it's only the first defeat this season so we've gone to nearly october without losing the game so you know that's 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 fine it's a good start let's just hope we can this won't set us back too much and we can um um start again but uh the next two games is a uh, cup games of course uh we got cray cray valley paper mills on saturday in the fa cup third qualifying round and uh on the following saturday that's the fa trophy and the draw for that was made today and car shorten were given a home tie against cray valley paper mills so we're playing steve mckinn's team on consecutive saturdays so it's just a bizarre turn of events really i don't know you know this goes that way sometimes and uh you know steve mckinn was there tonight along with hayden burden and a few other sort of managers i mean like i say we had a really big crowd there i think it was the pull of hashtag united really they've been they're quite well well known famous sort of team like on on social media and they're, they're very good i mean i watched their highlights and it's really professionally done and um, they're a really good establishment uh play at bows and pitsy but uh yeah back to tonight a bit of a disappointment but you know we just sort of brush ourselves down now and um, we've got to be up for the game against cray valley because that's not going to be easy because steve kim who was our manager last season is going to be properly up for that and they'll really want to get a, get a result on that one you know after the way he was treated by a certain owner at the end of last season so he's going to be wanting to sort of now that coffin in so we'll see how it goes but we've got to be at our best and not take them lightly so yeah that's it from me i'm going to sign off now uh, thanks for watching uh, give us a like and uh, i'll be back on saturday with another vlog from the fa cup game against cray valley paper mills so uh until then thank you for watching and i'll see you soon